On today's episode of Identity, founder of Pink Pearls Foundation and social entrepreneur, Komoto Sekoto, pops by for coffee. We keep Dada Nelson Mandela's legacy alive at the Children's Book Fair in Northgate. Our What's Happening segment features the review of a yoga fitness app. And we wrap up the show with Tando's poetic performance. An individual with an imagination My inner faith illuminates innovations In a space with infinite inspiration I was born free from all incarceration Incredible, living infallibly Intelligent, outshine with my inner being This is me, impeccable as ever been I am you, you are me This is my identity Namkele ke lenge zanza eshushu babukele bethu bemzansi for show. Seliphile la fika elo xesha lokwakheka emoyeni. Khona apha kuqongela mba phambili SABC1 mzansi for show. Nibukele identity inqube yenkolo ezahlukeneyo kwaye ndimsasazi wenu uviwe qwala. Before we begin the show, a quick note that today we commemorate and celebrate one of the world's historic figures and this day has been said to be known as Nelson Mandela International Day. Tata Nelson Mandela was born on this day in 1918 and being one of the figures that fought for our freedom, the United Nations officially declared this day as Mandela Day in November 2009. Don't forget that you can also spend 67 minutes by devoting your time partaking in public service and making a small gesture of solidarity with humanity and a step towards a global movement for good in honor of Dada Nelson Mandela. Sinipatele inkobe kwele no mfuto njoko ba spio zele langa dana mshanje lega Mandela. Sitike kuni, ngabele kani, nunwabele le mizuzo nga mashume ama tatu na ati. Unga moshikasha, masitima nondo ndole tuana mshanje kwenvengle yeti kofu. The young woman joining me for coffee today describes herself as a philanthropist at heart and is definitely striving and determined to make a difference in the lives of other young people. Komoto Sekoto obtained her honours degree in psychology from the University of Witwatersrand and then later founded her first company called Silver Runners, which is an events management company that executes corporate and inclusive purposeful events. This company also contains a charity department where she's founding director of Pink Pearl Foundation, which aims to inspire young girls through development programs and problem solving through creative thinking. There's more to this phenomenal woman, so I had to invite her for coffee and some cupcakes, and to my delight, she accepted. Khomoza, welcome to Identity. Thank you, Vivi. Okay, so okay, what was your upbringing like? What was your upbringing like? Well, my upbringing was magical. I come from Soweto. I was brought up there. Um, I was born in the apartheid, but actually um, was raised in the democracy. Mm -hmm. So I was raised by my mother. My father passed away when we were young. Mm -hmm. So my house was full of women, right? <laughs> so my sisters and uh, my mom, we were just like, we took everything and we just carried on. And I think it was important for me to actually experience that because that brewed everything that I am today. The influence of womanhood, the influence of carrying on, you know, not just taking anything that you think is um, putting you behind. Mm. But I really loved my childhood. It was amazing. I enjoyed it. Okay, so how then did spirituality come into play in your life and what role does it have in your life right now? On my side, religion was not given to me because my mom was a nurse, okay. so she worked every day. Yeah. I didn't grow up in a traditional home where on Sundays we go to church, mm -hmm. you know. So spirituality for me was personal. Mm -hmm. Well, now um, I've, I've grown and I've chosen a church which I attend, which is an SDA church. Um, we attend on Saturdays. It's given me principles. It's given me... Um, a home to actually learn because I always say you need a, um, a community basically to grow in and uh, my spirituality right now has grown because of that and I am so glad that I've actually ch chosen that route. Mm. And let's speak about your honours degree in psychology. Why did you specifically go for that route psychology? For me psychology is part of me okay. so it's not a career. So from when I was young, I used to like take teddy bears and I would talk to them and tell them, you be okay, don't cry, you know. So I was always attracted to people who were hurting. Mm -hmm. So even my name, my name means comfort. Mm -hmm. 
So I, I want to bring comfort and pain and um, psychology gave me the tools to do that. For me, psychology is part of me, it's part of life. So for a cup to be read, the psychology behind it, someone is feeling a certain way. So I was intrigued about the philosophy of psychology. Okay. And you're also a qualified project manager. Yes. So tell us about that and why did you choose that route as well? I applied for a job internship at a bank and I worked there and um, so there was vacancies available and I'm like, where do I place myself? Homozo is dynamic. Homozo is a person who likes people, who likes to handle things, who likes to lead. And which role would suit me and give me those skills to actually perform? And projects was that. Mm -hmm. So I was able to actually do what I love and do many things, not just one thing. So I dealt with too many projects from CSI to financial to investment to innovation. So a project allowed me to do that. That's why I actually chose for that. I'm so grateful. Okay, let's speak about your organization, yes. your events company. Yeah. When did that come into play and how was it established? What inspired its inception? Okay, so my events company, um, Silver Runners, mm -hmm. um, as I was working at um, the firm that I was as a project manager, mm -hmm. I had to do events for the departments and to bring people together after so much um, stressful, I mean, um, reports on a monthly basis and the joy people got from socializing, from networking. And I actually love the process of putting that together, mm -hmm. you know? And I said, why can't I give women that feeling mm -hmm. after each and every event? Mm -hmm. And I've never looked back. Okay, yeah. and then you've got your, your charity department yes. uh, and uh, you know, your organization, yeah. Pink Pearls Foundation, which is to empower young black girls. Yes. I want to know why is this so close to your heart and why did you, did you decide to delve into this? Women are facing so many hurdles from a racial perspective, from a um, masculinity society, from conflicts within each other. We are so confused. We are consistently asking ourselves how we're fighting, you know. So um, I wanted to be an advocate for those ladies. I want to give them the capabilities. So I didn't want to stand up there and inspire them. Sure. Because you can buy a magazine and you can be inspired by a story you read. I wanted to give them tools to empower them, to empower themselves. And as well, uh, one thing about my organization, I don't sell the story that you can be anything that you want to be. I sell the story that look at your talent, what you're capable of. If Homoto is good with science and Vue is good at English, we are different. So mm -hmm. let's, let's empower ourselves with what we are good with, more than just inspiring to be successful. Mm -hmm. So success comes with your capabilities and your talents and those are the tools I give for my uh, foundations and the girls. Okay, so we're commemorating 100 years of Nelson Tata Mandela. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel that you are carrying on or living out his legacy through the work that you do with young people? I love that question, Vivi. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, for me, freedom. I take the theme freedom and um, what does freedom mean to you? Mm -hmm. Freedom today is, is, is the mental freedom. I would love to, to actually take this legacy to to, for youth to be free mentally, to actually go beyond what the world tells you you are, go beyond to the boxes, the prisons of doubt, the prisons of saying I am black, the prisons of saying that um, I come from a poverty-stricken environment, but to actually free your mind to research and understand what the mind is capable of. Mm -hmm. Well said, Komoto. So we'll get into our word game and it's called Choose My Cat Taylor. So you have to choose one over the other. Okay. Are you ready? I am ready. <laughs> okay. Naisna or Limbobo? Naisna. <laughs> Braids or weave? Braids. Seafood or Mukhoru? Mmm, Happy. <laughs> Classic music or gong? Classic music. <laughs> Stilettos or sandals? Stilettos. <laughs> Coffee or soda drink? Soda drink. Komoto, thank you so much for joining us on Identity. You're such an inspiration, especially to young girls. Please keep it up. Thank you, Vivi. In Kutalo ka Komoto kwenza umashuko kwe mpilo zolucha. Yes, bona kalisa. Kwa isi mwane la kwanke ukutlenje ngukuba ekubeke ka upaka misa. Ababa mngangileyo. Sita mkuba iba laki. Yani kutazu kuba ni paka misa izindawo eni sala kuzo. It's time for a short break. When we return, we head to the Children's Book Fair in remembrance of Dada Nelson Mandela. And don't miss our media review segment, which features an app that will help you live a healthier lifestyle through yoga exercising. 
don't go anywhere we'll be right back this is my identity this is my identity Sabukele nkube ni tanda kakulu eye nkole eza shukene ya identity. Kwa napa kuikonge lamba pambili SAPC1 Designs for Show. Tingufi wekwa la nkosmo kisala nati. Part of our mandate here on identity is telling and sharing positive and uplifting stories. So when we were recently invited by Naledi Dube to attend the second edition of South Africa's Children Book Fair, we couldn't pass up this opportunity. When she sent a Facebook message, this is what she had to say. Hello Identity Team, my name is Naledi Dube and I'd like to invite you to this year's SACBF South Africa's Children Book Fair taking place at the Ticket Pro Dome in Northgate. There will be plenty of activities taking place from book launches, sales and signing, games and illustrations, puppet shows and much more. Please do join me as we continue Dada's legacy through encouraging book reading and education in young people's lives. Hope to see you there. Regards. Na lady. As we know, Dada Nelson Mandela always instilled in us the importance of education and reading. With that in mind, we saw it fit to share the story in commemoration and celebration of his legacy. We couldn't wait to witness this initiative with you, our Mzansi for sure viewers. So, we took our cameras and headed to Northgate. Here's what the team came back with. This is my identity. Hello Identity Viewers, Gabala Munaledi and today we're out here in Northgate, Johannesburg at the SA Children's Book Fair. Today we are commemorating 100 years of the legacy of Utata Unelson Mandela. As you all know, Utata loved education and made sure all of us knew about the importance of education. Nam am is about reading and the importance of education. Need I say more? Come with me. Standing with me right now is the organ one of the organizers rather for this amazing event, the South Africa Children's Book Fair, Usisimbu. Tell us about this event and why it started. The whole point of the initiative is to get uh, school learners to be from grade four because there's a stat that's going around that um, our school learners are struggling to read. So this is how this initiative came about and this was the idea that we want to help the education department to uplift the education levels, to uplift the e reading levels. And we then decided that a book fair would probably be a good platform to introduce this and um, spread to schools all over the country as much as we can. Why do you think reading is important for a young person? As oh, Babu Nelson Mandela said, no country can develop without education and hence we've decided that this initiative would be a great platform for us to actually propel and go forward with his legacy and give back to our communities. What can we expect today? I'm excited. We've got um, workshops that are lined up. We've got illustrators, illustrators that are going to be doing graphic work with the kids. Then we've got book readings from all the authors that are around at the book. Our program is, is really, really broad and it is full for something for everybody that can come, come out with. Standing with me right now is Urufas, who actually is one of the people who is participating here today. Why do you think it's important for children to read and Funandla? Okay, let's start with my role at this event. I've occupied um, an early literacy hub, and what I do is I read to young children, but not only young children, I mean, I just had a, a grade eight and nine class. You know, we are celebrating Mandela Day today. Why do you think Mandela Day is important? He believed in education. He was an educationist himself, and he wanted the, the South African, he wanted South African children actually to be housed in schools. The day on its own is just enormous, it's just powerful, um, given of the men behind it that um, he once said, if you want to change the world, use education. Standing with me right now is Usis Ntab Seng, who's one of the young parents attending today. Nam Sanje Ula. Funanla. It's a book fair. 
because reading is important and I want to encourage them from a very young age. I've got kids from the age of 2 to 13. So I'm a homeschooler. I homeschool because in educating my children, I also find that I'm learning. Yeah. So to me, I mean, raising up children that are confident in themselves and not have so fit a certain mold. I think that's extending the legacy of Tata Mandela because he himself did not fit in a mold. He rebelled when he was in Forte and he was expelled, you know, because he would not fit a mold. And that's what I'm teaching my children, be individuals, you know. Why do you think it's important for young people to read? To boost our knowledge, even the way you speak, it, might, it comes from the book. In everything you do, you need, you need words to do it in a good way. Utato Nelson Mandela valued education so much. What do you remember about him most? Is that a reading nation is a good nation. And everything you do, it must be determined by what you learn. What do you remember most about Utato Nelson Mandela? I remember most of when he said, we are in a rainbow nation, so we have to take care of each other and we must not do nepotism to other people. We always have to look after each other, no matter which race are you. As I'm trying to celebrate Mandela, a hundred years, what did Mandela do? He said to share with to communicate with people, to stand up, especially during apartheid, we were not allowed to. Man, Jesus, na na freedom. You go to seven more. Lee, young kid, that's from the corner. So yeah, it means a lot to me. Right now, I am standing with Uma Mubusisiwe, who's one of the parents of Zilela Namhlanje. Mama, what do you remember most about Utata? You know, I I know that he valued education very, very much. And I know that he loved children as well. And he kept on reminding us that children are our future. If we don't treat our children in the right way, then we are actually a doomed society. And he was actually uh, telling the truth. We can see some of the you know, ills in our community, and, uh, but then we, we shouldn't get tired. As parents, as teachers, as, as public servants, we need to push to make sure that we actually get them on the right track. Well, there you have it, Nongela Pamakai. It's been yet another exciting show. Had so much fun right here at the SA Children's Book Fair. Today we are celebrating the amazing legacy of Utata Unelson Mandela. The importance of education. Well, my name is Naledi Dube. Thank you so much for having me. Viewer, back to you in studio. Thank you to Naledi and the organizers of South African Children's Book Fair for inviting and sharing that enlightening story. Keep imparting knowledge to young people and create such educational programs in our communities. We hope you're also inspired to also play your part to continue Dada Nelson Mandela's legacy by reading more books and taking part in empowering initiatives such as those as the Children's Book Fair. Uba nao unaleo ibali ilfundi sanayo, ela kanayo, honga tanu kwele la babu gelbe tube mzanti po show. Kulula, honga kwele la ngu spale la inwa digwiti lesi identity tv show at gmail.com. Kwa zban, singatipi, kuinda o ilala kuyo kunge kitala. It's time for one more break. When we come back, we head into today's What's Happening segment, which features the review of a yoga app that will improve your fitness level, and later a studio performance by the poetess Tando. You don't want to miss this. We'll be right back. This is my identity. This is my identity. Welcome back, you're still watching Identity, right here on Mzanzi's number one channel, SABC1 Mzanzi for Show. I'm your host, Fiwe Kwala. If you've just tuned in, here's what you missed. We started the show off on an inspirational note with social entrepreneur and founder of Pink Pearls Foundation, Komoto Sekoto. We then headed to the SA's Children's Book Fair in commemoration of Mandela Day. Now it's time for this week's media review segment. This is What's Happening. Did you know that yoga not only helps in toning muscles, 
but also helps in reducing stress, which comes in handy since we live such busy and hectic lifestyles. Today's app will provide you with yoga exercises to help maintain your fitness levels as well as keep a healthy body and mind. It's called yoga. Let's check it out. Yoga Workout Meditation and Fitness Plan at Home app is a new way of meditating and incorporating the most energizing and effective yoga to help you feel good at your own home. The app caters for yoga beginners and will provide challenges and poses for beginners. If you're relatively new to yoga, it's safe to select the How to Do Yoga tab. Once you're ready to get started, select the Beginner's Yoga tab for videos done by beginners, illustrating different yoga poses for flexibility and relaxation. Perhaps you want to try something as a daily routine before you go to work or go to bed. Select Beginner Yoga Routines for quick yoga routines you can try at your own comfortable space. If you're up for something more challenging, select the 21 Day Yoga Challenge to take up a challenge for 21 days where you'll try a pose a day every day. Found something you like? Just click the heart tab and your workout will be automatically placed under favorites. Enjoy the numerous benefits of practicing yoga with the Yoga Workout Meditation and Fitness Plan at Home app. Before we wrap up the show, a quick note that this Saturday, the 21st of July, the Jewish community commemorate Tisha B'Av and it concludes on Sunday evening, the 22nd of July. This annual fast is in commemoration of a number of disasters which occurred in Jewish history and is observed through mourning, prayers and fasting. We wish our Jewish viewers a peaceful Tisha B'Av. With that said, we've come to the end of today's episode of Identity. We hope that our guest, insert and reviews have left you educated and motivated. If you have a positive community story to share with us, simply let us know by sending a detailed email to identitytvshow at gmail.com. We're also active on the social media scene. Search for Identity TV Show on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Today we close off the show with a studio performance by Tando the Poetess who will pay special tribute in celebration of Mandela Day. Hope you enjoy. Kum uviwe kwa la netarale identity si tini ben nevegi esigelegleyo salan kaku wushe tando take it away. A hundred years of a life not only well lived but well shared, stretched and given over to the cleansing of our land. This is why Datumati by your spirit is felt every time a fist is clenched, whenever a hand is lent or a back is bent. A hundred words will never fully come to express the gratitude that we have. We were born free because you were born held, bound. But it was freedom that touched your mind, that even when freedom felt so far from sight, you chose to fight. Even when the oppressor's voice felt a bit too loud, you chose to fight. Even when everybody was backing down, you chose to fight. You fought so that we do not ever have to fight. And I bet. Even after this, a hundred more poems will be written about you. A hundred more songs will be sung about you. A hundred more sculptures will be carved just like you. And a hundred more monuments built in honor of you. Dadumadiba, today we remember you. <laughs>